Hey yo, what's really good? This is Mikey's Top 10 with your host, me, Mikey. Today we're going to be looking at Top 10 Celebrities That Also Do Magic. But before we get into all that, I'd like to show y'all this. So as you can see, apparently I've been banned from the gardening section on Reddit for trying to post my Top 10 Lawnmowers video that I did last week. Now, I don't know what kind of grudge they got against Mikey, but I'm not rocking with it. So this week, we're going to be exploring some new topics. I'd also like to shout out Chimney for commenting on my last video and telling me to do top 10 coolest fishing rods. But I'm sorry, eh, we're not going to be doing that video today. I might do it in the future, but either way, shout out to you and make sure you keep commenting. All right, boom. Moving right along to the bottom of the list. At number 10, we've got Ryan Gosling. In addition to being an actor and an infamous ladies man, Ryan is also known to bust out a magic trick every now and again. Now it's also said that he used magic to get his first movie role ever. And this is just a Hollywood rumor, so please do not take my word for it. I mean, look at this man. Like he already wasn't getting enough coochie as it is. Number nine, we've got Woody Allen, a devoted magic head. Almost all of his movies feature magic in one way or another. He taught himself card tricks and sleight of hand at a young age. As he said, he was interested in being a gambler, a card, and a dice hustler. So, boom, shout out to him, even though I'm pretty sure that he ended up marrying his daughter or some shit like that. So, let's move right along to number eight. We've got Daniel Radcliffe's, a.k.a. Harry Potter. And I'm most definitely about to be the first person to tell you this, so take this information lightly. There was real magicians on the set of Harry Potter the whole time. I know, that shit's crazy, right? Dude also goes to major magic shows all the time and even returned to do magic in Now You See Me 2, a movie that came out in 2016. So go catch that with your girl and all that. Sitting at number 7, we've got J.J. Abrams, a.k.a. the creator of Star Wars. Now this man is so obsessed with magic that he makes actors do a magic trick when they try out for his movie roles. On top of that, he's producing a Broadway performance for illusionist Darren Brown. Now, I don't know when that comes out, but that's about to be live. And this is another one of them dudes who credits his success to, I quote, the mystery of magic. Number six, from Queens, New York, We've got Adrian Brody's. Now, I'm rocking with dude already, so let's start from the top. As a kid, he did magic. He even had a name for himself. He called himself the Amazing Adrians. I'll tell you what, he's definitely the only kid I ever heard of from Queens that went to magic camp. He also played Houdini in the 2014 show Chronicalizing Dude and all that. You feel me? So that's his role he played it. Dun Dada. All right, boom. Number five, we've got dude from Seinfeld, Jason Alexander. This man's an award-winning magician, believe it or not. He also quote-unquote said, I actually can get out of a straight jacket. In 2006, Hollywood's renowned Magic Castle even named him its Parlor Magician of the Year. Wow, what an honor. At number four, we've got my man's Mohammed Ali. So interested in magics that Mo hired a personal magician to travel with him while he was touring and boxing to teach him magic tricks along the way. He ended up developing a sleight of hand that he used to win most of his boxing matches. Now, this is a fact, and you can hold that on me, Mikey. Anyway, number three, 
We've got Arsenio Halls from Cleveland. He used to take the bus downtown to the magic shop as a young boy. He started working at that same magic shop and became so good at sleight of hand that he would perform at a Karuma house, whatever the heck that means. This led to an offer to perform in New York on CBS when he was 12. He made enough money doing magic to pay for a full ride in college. Wow, that's a lot of money. Okay, yada yada mean. Moving closer to the top of the list, we've got big number two, Steve Martin. A very accomplished magician to say the least. Now as a teen, he worked at the Disneyland magic shop and even said most of what he learned in magic influenced his successful stand-up career. Now later, he developed a comedy magic act under the name The Great Fly Dini, most likely because you could always catch Steve in a fly ass suit as pictured. Well, this led him to perform on Johnny Carson in 92, and y'all know the rest. Now you're probably wondering why I've selected him as number one, but let me tell you something about Neil Patrick Harris. President of the Board of Directors of Hollywood's Magic Castle. He won the Tannins Magic Lewis Award in 2006. He hosted the 2008 World Magic Awards. I mean, man's could probably out magic all the other guys that I've named on this list thus far. Now for the honorable mentions. You all did not make the list, but you made the list after the list. So, shouts out to you. Up top, we've got big mans from Modern Family. Can't remember his name right now, but he could probably pull a rabbit out of a hat quite nicely. So, thank you for your contributions to the entertainment business. Next up, we've got Magic Mans from the new Harry Potter. That's not the old Harry Potter, but the new one. Still written by the same person and all that. But he does magic too in real life. Anyway, Mikey's Top 10 has been brought to you by you, so make sure you comment and let me know what I should Top 10 next. And don't forget, like and subscribe. We out, you bastards.